you don't realise, I don't think, when you're so small, just how important and just how lucky you are to be brought up in a mining community. The pit was the thing. There was no getting away from it. If you went away on holiday, you used to come here, and we all used to say, well, she's still here. Sunday night, oh no, I've got to come back to the pit tomorrow. There's such a depth of history and innovation and depth of knowledge that the world should understand from what happened here. It was a happy place to grow up. It was certainly challenging at times. It was not glamorous by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a, a very happy, very bustling, busy and close community. Everybody knew what would happen if the pit shut. We knew the shops would go, we would lose everything. When they tried to get them in, all the cars got toppled over and all the office windows got put through and total chaos. We stuck together. If somebody was going hungry, we fed them. We, we, we were loyal to each other. And if, there was a pro if a man was paid a penny short at the colliery, he would go to the pay office and demand it. And if he didn't, Garrett would stop the pit. Nobody really knew just how hard the coalfield was going to be hit. You know, by the time the last pit shuts eight years later, it was scorched earth. It broke my heart. Just watching what was going on, and the longer it went on, the harder it got. It is a celebration of everything that has gone before and everything that is in the day. A county which is defined by community organisation and the will to express itself. It's just marvellous.